Good afternoon. Welcome to Pure Mix's Mix Fix number, same number as last one, plus one. I think it's six. And today we have a song by a band called Crab Costume, or an artist named Crab Costume. And it's produced by Martin Kessner. And it just so happens that Martin is a New York guy. So Martin is on his way over. So instead of doing the Zoom thing this time, we'll have actually an actual human on a chair, which is going to be great. Um, and Twist, the session, the song, is in Ableton Live. So I'm going to mix a song in Ableton Live. Um, most of the time, I work in Luna or in Pro Tools. And, um, but I do sometimes work in Ableton Live. I have a project with my friend Ludwig, uh, Ludwig Vaughn, and he produces in Ableton, so we work on his songs in Ableton. And then um, Stelios, Philly, also works in Ableton, so I'm very familiar with the program. And also part of Magic, look. So there's three artists I work with who are Ableton-centric, so I know how the software works quite well. Um, I don't have my usual automatic, like, I don't have a template. I don't have my, you know, intuition. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it up as I go. So here's what I propose we do. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna listen to the song, and then we're gonna set up some basic principles, and then, um, and then we're gonna mix it. So I'll listen to. Let's listen to intro, pre-chorus. It says pre, V1 and um, chorus one, and then, and then we'll, you know, draw conclusions from there. Here we go. What a disaster, what a disaster Just found out that Cupid's a liar What a disaster, what a disaster Just found out that Cupid's a liar I can only guess what's going on in your mind I can only guess what possessed you To treat me so unkind I can only guess what made you turn so This is like a serious, massive attack throwback. I love it. And I suspect that there is some um, poetry lost in translation from the session heading over. This is a session that Martin sent me this morning. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put mix up on. And I have Martin's mix on mix up. So we're going to be able to compare and make sure that what I, oh, great. I forgot to log in. Um, I'll take care of that in a second. I'm a genius, don't try this at home, folks. And then I'm gonna put decibel on, so I get an idea of what the gain stage is. Because it sounds good, it doesn't sound crushed, it, sound, it sounds fine, I just wanna know where it lives, meaning like where in the spectrum it is, so that I know um, if I have any room, if I have to make room, or if I, if I have to beat a very loud demo or not. So let's go to the first chorus and check it out. <laughs> That is extremely reasonable. It's very interesting. There's a lot of headroom above here. There's like a, a dB down um, and it's hanging. This is, I think this is going to end up being, end up being around Spotify level, which makes my life easier. Um, so what I'm going to do is look into the mix bus. Actually, what I'm going to do 
while Andrew's going to back on, um, get back on my ugly face, I'm going to log in into the actual right account and so that I can do the comparison with the rough mix. Let me give me one second. I could have sworn I did that before, but you know, sometimes I forget things. Um, one second. Talk to amongst yourselves. Uh, where do you go? Here we go. Are we good? Mix fix. Cool, it's downloading. We're here. So let's see. Disaster. What a disaster. Let me sync that up. Uh, I'm going to go to the Ableton timeline. I'm going to zoom in to the very top. Click here, a couple bits before, and I'm going to tell Mix Up Yo, this is the start. And now I can press play. What a disaster, what a disaster. Just found out that Cupid's a liar. What so that's more or less the same mix. Let's see when it gets thick. Uh, around, say, this chorus we just heard. This is the current mix. <laughs> This is the mix that Martin sent me. Hi. We're on the same street. Maybe not, it's not, not the same exact building number, but it's, we're on the same street. I see already that I'm missing one plugin here. Um, it's called Span on the mix bus. This is the master. Um, I have a feeling that maybe I don't need Span. Maybe we don't need Span. Let's see. Um, so my first urge here is to figure out what am I mixing against since I'm going to try and fix this mix, which is, by the way, quite good. Um, what I hear right away is that I think that the bass is a little out of control um, and is taking a lot of room that's kind of taking some of the beauty away, some of the space away. It's really taking a lot of space. So I see that... Um, Martin uses a lot of plugins that I use, which is kind of cool. Um, we have Dangerous High Pass. There's a utility here. You can see in Ableton when there's a little red dot here, that means that it's automated. So we have to see what he's doing. My feeling is, my gut is that he's probably um, automating levels to give it a little bump, yeah. So it's turning on and off, and you can see that it's turning on during the chorus and it's giving 1.5 dB again in the chorus. That means that it's trying to lift the chorus. Okay, I'm cool with that. Um, let's keep that. And then, uh, so the high pass here is at 24, that's fine. He was using a full lift, but he decided against it. And look at a 70, I can keep this, this is cool. I would do this. Um, let's see what the compressor does. Super reasonable, it's cool. Um, ooh, BX. That's doing a little widening. Man, just turn it off for a second, see how life is without it. Oh, hi, gorgeous. Let me bypass that one, the pull tag. So, if I bypass the pull tag, uh, it sort of kind of falls apart. I get it. Um, however, I think a lot of it is level, and I think that big boost at 100 is part of the issue. So I'm going to leave this off. Big risk. Uh, let's look at the limiter. Ooh, lots of gain. but it's not limiting. And the output trim is not 1 dB, which is why we saw on decibel earlier. You can see decibel here on my iPad 2 at the same time, by the way. Um, so I don't have to go click on decibel on my mix bus. I can just look here. Um, so what Martin is doing here is, is being compliant. Um, this 6 dB is a gain here, though. Um, 
going to have to find a solution for that. Don't span. Thanks for coming, but joke. And then we have ProQ3 after the limiter. That's unusual. And we have, so this 134 is where the knee of that pull tech is. Let's say that maybe we don't need that. Let's just be wild. Also, if you're going to, well, with 1DB headroom here, you don't really care if you have plugins after your limiter, but you know. All right, so cool. So I think that the first thing to do is to maybe adjust my own mix bus to mix into. And then I'll rebalance to make sure that I can AB with this mix. But I'm going to keep this. I'm going to actually mute this. And I'm going to mute this guy. Actually, no, I'm going to keep the limiter, but I'm going to change the settings. And I was a very good boy. I renamed the session and I put it under my name, so I own my own mistakes. Um, so let's see. I'm going to put my baby, my new favorite thing in the universe, the well, new for the last two years or so, the 2500. And uh, there's no defaults here because my defaults are in Luna or in Ableton, so I want to do the defaults. I'm going to give me a little bit of gain here, and I'm going to get rid of the gain on the limiter. And the reason for this is um, I want to be able to AB. And yes, uh, I'm giving a lot of gain here, um, but I know I'm going to get some reduction too. I tend to like this, this um, I'm going to get rid of the enhance. I tend to like the limiter, with this limiter, this particular limiter with a very fast attack. It sounds great and it makes things a little fatter too. as planned. We're good. All right, so this is more in my, I know how this compressor reacts better than how the SSL uh, reacts. And I tend to use the SSL as parallel compression, which in this case I may or may not use, we don't know yet. But now that I know and I have a better feeling for how my mix bus is going to uh, react, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start looking into the bass right away. And so what do we have on the base? Uh, it's been frozen, so the synth has been frozen. There's a utility here. Okay, what does the utility do? It's like a puzzle, it's awesome. The utility, utility does, oh, look at that. It's here. It's basically used as a compressor. He's turning utility on to get 7 dBs um, of reduction, if you will. And this is a very interesting way of doing it. I, I would have automated the gain. He's automated the entire plugin. Eh, why not? Then there's the Moog. That's cool. So he didn't want that thing. Cool. And then pro, well, it's too fat, okay. Okay, so using a dynamic EQ here allows him, or, you know, multi-band compressor allows him to only lower the level of the bottom note. Okay, so he was struggling with that. What I think we should do here is we should use my new, new, new baby, Spice Rack. By the way, Pure Mix members, this is waiting for you in your account. And this thing is bananas. It's absolutely awesome. Uh, my default setting that I have to work with is linear phase and 4x over sampling. This is Spice Rack. It's the brand new plugin by Process the Audio that um, Guillaume and myself have been working on for two years. And it's out and it's, it saves lives. Um, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to saturate this bass. Spice 
track has five colors, by the way, drive, tube, amp, lo-fi, and fuzz. And um, it has an EQ that you can uh, use before or after the distortion. So you can pre-EQ into the distortion or you can tailor the EQ after the distortion. It has a parallel knob right here. So it's fully linear. So you can truly use this even on full mixes if you want to. It has a gate right here, which I'm not gonna use on this particular track. Um, and it has an awesome thing called console, which allows you to see, um, well, I'll show you later if I use Spice Rack again in this session. But right now what I want to do is I want to get some definition on this bass because it's really... And I'm not really feeling it in the song. All I'm feeling is like flubby bottom. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn this on, use the drive, which is the same drive as Sugar, but super extended with a really nice, uh, very gentle curve at the bottom. So you can really be doing really subtle stuff or you could just go insane is not the aesthetic in this song. Let's do it. High pass is super bottom. Maybe a little steeper curve. Down. Okay. And we're gonna back it up. seem overt, but check it out in the track, see, uh, on when the pre comes in right here. Without Spice Rack. How bleedy it is, but with Spice Rack on, it's way more focused and it doesn't sound as, I'm going to use a difficult word, farty. This helps a lot. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mute the vocals for now because they're distracting to me. Uh, by the way, the routing of the session, drums and crash, apparently doesn't qualify as drums for some reason, goes into a all drums uh, submix. And then tambourine and bongos. Um, let's go to the others. Uh, view. Tambourine and bongos going directly to the master. The bass goes to the master. Keys is a folder, and there's a bunch of keys there. Uh, high pads. Hold on, there, there are the keys. Distortion, organ, pad, pluck. Cool. A bunch of guitars that came, come in on the chorus and really make the whole thing lift. And the guitars, um, and then all the vocals, which are submixed into a group called Vox. Just a good name for a box group. And then we have three auxes, an H delay, a lexicon. Which lexicon is this? U8480. Okay, cool. That's the perfect reverb for this. And a Santoy's little plate. Okay, I know more or less where we are. You can see the sands here. Cool, cool, cool. So let's um let's mute the vocal for now. And let's mute the guitars. Ah, it's automated. Okay. So, well, you know, I'll mute it. And then this little button up here turns orange to tell me that I changed something into the automation. Uh, and I'm going to mute these, the keys too. And just look at the drums. Bass. So let's see what's going on with those drums. We have kick snare, um, ghost snare, yeah. Uh, clap, I don't hear a clap. Oh, it's, yeah, it's like a distant clap, like the cousin you never talk to. Hi hat, cool. Bally? Oh, that's cool. So this is a drum group, and the drums are going to the all drum submix, which is here. He's doing the same thing with the utility, so he's he's making the drums 
raise level, which is cool. I want to keep that. I'm sure it'll be great. And then there's a reverb on it. Let's see what that reverb sounds like. Okay, I, I get the vibe. I'm thinking that maybe, maybe it should be a little drier. So I'm feeling that um, the the things that can make win on this are the attitude of the drums and the vocal tone. Those are the two things that can improve really quickly. So let's drop spice rack on those drums. And uh, this is across the whole drum set. And I'm going to mute the bass. And I'm going to set up one of these legendary Ableton loops, boom. So, by the way, Spice Rack has a built-in system called Calibrate. If you notice, when you raise the level of any distortion, it distorts, but you also get a lot of level. But with uh, Spice Rack, you just say, Calibrate. It listens and it tells you, oh, your track is around minus 14 LUFS. So now you can distort without getting the level. It's nice. Um, so that's not the sound I'm looking for, but... That's a very massive attack vibe, but I don't want it on everything. I would like it to have it just on the on the hits. So I'm going to use the gate. You have extra control here. I'm going to make the attack very fast. Let's uh, back it up. Where we started. Now we are now where we are now. Without. It's cool, but it's a little clean. And now. I like that a lot. Then we're going to use our trusty 1178 stereo mix like this. More. I'm going to put a side chain in so that um, it doesn't react to the bass drum as much. Alone. Okay. So this is where we started. This is where we are now. So that's rocking, but it's not hitting. It has texture now, more texture, it doesn't sound as um, digital, but it's not, it doesn't have, I think it doesn't have enough personality, it doesn't have enough um, hit, it has the personality but not the hit. So I'm going to create a new uh, return track, which we're going to call uh, DBX 160 in French, I'll let you translate that, and we're going to put this on here. And so Ableton has fixed uh, returns. That's very interesting how that works. It's very different from Pro Tools. So I'm going to send the bass drum and the snare drum 
into that DBX160, and I'm gonna jack it up. And note that I'm sending from the source tracks, so I'm sending pre Vibathon over there with the um, Spice Rack and the 1178, so I'm able to uh, compress and do power compression on the clean bass drum and snare. This is without that. Went a little far. You got to be careful because if you rely so much on the parallel compression um, for your sound, then you basically painting yourself into a corner. You have to keep, in my opinion, you have to keep it in a fairly subtle space. So the kick doesn't need as much of it. The snare could use more. So that's working pretty nice. So we started here without the spice rack and without the DBX. And now we are here with the spice rack, the 1178 and the DBX. So I may refine that, but this feels pretty good. Let me turn the bass back on. Interesting. Let's listen to the verse. Very familiar. Ah, the high, the right comes in. I think this could use a little sugar. Um, so. I just want a little bit of a, and then. So it should also have some sort of a unusual and unnecessary space. Um, and we have a little, uh, we have a verb. Can I get to it from here? Yeah. Let's see. Wrong one. Right one. Oh. Not what I want. So let's use a plugin. Um, I like, um, I like a lot of stuff, but for this, I have the feeling that the vintage, the, um, Valhalla uh, Vintage Verb is going to do the trick. Yeah. Let's see in the context. Contact without the reverb. Let's address the vocals. So they call group, 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 and group. Let's see what that means. I'm bloody crazy. What have I done? Enough weed and alcohol. Medicinal numb. It's a positive message for the youth. Um, I am thinking that I'm going to call this 
the lead vocal group. And then what's happening with the next group? It's happening here. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. Seems like a harmony. Uh, I can only guess what possessed. Let's call this harmony group. And this is called group. It comes here. It looks like another harmony. I can only guess what. See? Sorry, I'm being a little slow on my Ableton uh, skill set right here. I'm really, I want this one, and I cannot get it to go. Apologize. What is going on? Hi, gorgeous. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. More harmony. Okay, cool. Let's call it that. Um, Maybe I want to spell it in English, just so that people don't get confused. And then, so there's two of there and there, and there's another group, and that's what? I can only guess what's going on in... I can only guess what's going on... It's a high harm. Not marm. Okay, cool. So I know what the vocals are. Uh, let's look at the important one, the lead vocal group. And so this lead vocal group goes into this, this voice. And the reason why you use the group is because you have several takes. So all the takes are inside the group. There's no processing on the different takes. That's cool. Uh, there's a little pro MB here, so it's probably sounded a little different, and he fixed it. Um, and then the group had these plugins. OK, let's see. Ooh la la, lots of plugins. So we have Pro Q3. Okay, Pro DS, cool, Soothe. Where's the Soothe hanging? Oh, it's down here. All right, so we see that um, the Soothe and the Pro Q3 are trying to do the same thing. Then there's a Pro MB, there's a Pro MB, the low mids, then there's an 1176, then there's a Pull Tech bringing some of the stuff that was pulled away at 2K, and a big dip at 5K, and then attenuation, so it's, he, Martin thought it was too bright, then the micro shift, okay, that's fair. Then a little bit of space, a 16th note slap, a utility thing with the gain automating, another one with the gain automating in a, probably a different spot, a third one, a fourth one, and then a reverb that's off. Okay, cool. And then that goes into, uh, so the, this group goes into this Vox group. And the Vox group has another Pro MB, but that's to all the vocals. And that's still too bright. Um, that's why it has a dynamic thing. At least that's what I'm, you know, forensically imagining. A Fairchild. A millennia with 10 dBs at 16K, so that was maybe too much. So I see what's going on here. This is the classic uh, rabbit hole issue and the reverb. That's the vibe. Okay. So this is what happens a lot, happens to everyone. You have a sound and you don't like it. Um, and so you put a plugin on it and put a plugin on it, you come back to it, you don't like it, you put another plugin on it. If you take the first plugins off because all the settings of the subsequent plugins were put to compensate for or to enhance the previous plugin settings, then when you turn that plugin off, this sounds like ass. And if you turn this one off, then that sounds like ass. And then what's the solution? Let's put another plugin. Um, and the thing with, with Ableton is you can have as many plugins as you want. I, um, I remember getting uh, a couple of years ago, well, before the pause, uh, before the, the C pause, um, I, got, um, I got asked to mix a song for an art, one of my favorite artists. She's really awesome. She does all her own production. and she's, she's great. And she sent me two Ableton sessions, one with the music and one with the vocals, because uh, her computer could not play both the music and the vocals at the same time. There were about 200 tracks in both sessions. 
So there's 400 tracks of stuff. And I was like, what's going on? And I opened it and literally every vocal track, and we counted it, I counted it, or Tom counted it, I forget. There were 27 plugins. That was the template. She had a 27 plugin template on her vocal. And then that went into a bus that had the same template. So another 27 plugins. And every plugin was pushing and pulling and doing and undoing itself. And this is a unbelievable creative person, great writer, amazing singer, world superstar. And she sends me the stuff where there were hundreds of plugins in the sessions on hundreds of tracks. And I was, I, it, it, was, it took me a second to figure out um, how to undo that. And what I found is that, for me at least, the best way to do that is to start from scratch. So we don't have a phenomenal amount of time here because you guys are watching. And um, watching someone mix, I am told, is a little bit like watching paint dry, but louder. Um, so I'm going to duplicate this group and I'm going to own it by rename it fab and I'm going to mute the source and this group instead of going to the Vox bus I'm going to make it go uh, where is it more harmony miss this one I'm going to make it go to the to the mix bus directly and I'm going to see um, and I want to get rid of all those plugins. Uh, and I want to see why Martin had to go down that rabbit hole. My feeling is that it's incremental, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm going to keep his level stuff, I think. Am I going to keep his level stuff? I'm going to keep his level stuff. I'm going to keep also the, the echo, uh, just because. And also the macro shift, but not the rest of the tone. And let's see. Uh, and for now, I'm going to mute the time delays, the time effects, and figure out what is going on. I'm doing something wrong. This is my fault, people, because I'm not an Ableton Live person. Audio to master, that should work. What am I doing wrong? I can hear the chat screaming at me from this point on. This will teach me to mix in a software I don't know. Um, all these, oh, they go to the wrong group. Duh. No, Ableton Smart. They actually rerouted to the right group. Okay, this is up, it's going. I am stumped. Uh, none of this is relevant. This is going to master, masters one, two. Let me study this. Oh, it's nice to embarrass myself live on uh, national TV. Hold on one second. Uh, lead vocal group. If I mute. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. I like that rasp in his voice. I can only guess what's going Okay. Good. Oh, duh. I can only guess. I'm a genius. Don't try this at home, folks. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. Hear that? I love it. Um, okay, I see what's going on. This was recorded with a smidgen of compression, Mr. Crap Costume. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. Uh. I can only guess what possessed you to treat me so unkind. I can only guess what made you turn so cold. I can only guess, but what's the point? What's the point? Let's see what happens when I turn the macro shift on and the echo boy on. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. Uh, oh, exactly what I would do. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. So I feel that it's just, you know, in the track with the drum and bass. I can only guess what let me turn it back on. It works better on. I can only guess what's going on. It's major now right now, but. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. Uh, I can only guess what. 
I think that we would benefit from just softening it um, a little, but we don't have to go crazy. So I want to use the 800. Um, this is the UADX version, the Spark. So you can use it without an Apollo if you don't have an Apollo. Um, I use it more so that in case I'm traveling, I have to reopen sessions, especially with Ableton. Usually I'm not here. So that, you know, if I have a smaller rig with less DSP, then I can still open the session. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. Uh, I can only guess what possessed you to treat me so unkind. I can only guess what made you turn so cold. I don't think it needs to be DS or anything. Um, I think it needs space around it and um, a cool kind of space, like a different kind of space. But for now, I want to compare what the intention was uh, from Martin. So. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. Uh, I can only guess what possessed you. To treat me so unkind. I think we might be okay. Um, so I'm gonna leave this here for now. Um, and I have like about four new ideas. First, I think that I can only guess what's in your mind. I think we can add a little more oomph, technical term to the drums. And I like to do this this way. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of space around that. And I used to, I like to use the um, SP2016 for that, for me even tied. By the way, that's also, oh, I, I'm supposed to say these things, I forgot. Uh, this is part of the PureMix plugin uh, suite. So is Spice Rack and so is Sugar. So is the 1178, and so is Decibel, and, and so is Mixup. Now you can do all this at home. So I love this stereo room, modern stereo room. I'm gonna make it short. And then I'm gonna make it super fat at the bottom. Without, with, okay, not gonna make it so bright. Cool, shorter, without, with, yeah, it takes more space. And then I'm gonna take this and put it on the snare too. So, Without, with, and the snare could use it a little longer. So for you to really hear, okay. Cool, so without that, and without the same on the kick, sounds like this. With, Sorry, I missed the mistake. This is without, without. And then this is with. Yeah. A little less. Yes. Let's listen to the track. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. I can only guess what possessed you to treat me so unkind. I, I can only guess what made you turn so cold. I can only guess, but what's the point? What's the point? This love is. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. Uh, I can only guess what 
possessed you to treat me so. I'm gonna raise the bass drum a tiny bit. Um, I'm gonna use the fader because I like this better. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. Uh, I can only guess what possessed you to treat me so unkind. This is coming together neatly. Um, and the reason why I raise the bass drum is to try and make the bass drum feel under, feel like it's under and a little forward under the vocal, and so the snare stays behind. So now the vocal is surrounded, so it won't feel as aggressive because it's surrounded by aggressive instruments. I can only guess what's going Another thing I can do is I can, I, I did it, but I didn't tell you. Um, I backed off the high frequency repro EQ on the, uh, on the 800. And it's really interesting because it, um, it doesn't sound like an EQ, it sounds, it's just softer and, and, and more, um, not transparent, but a little vibier. I can't, I haven't figured out how to get the same tone from doing this from an EQ yet. So I do this. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. Push it so it saturates the transits a little bit. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. Uh, I can only guess what possessed you. To treat me so unkind I can only guess what made you turn so cold Another idea that just came to mind Now that we've dried up the bass enough I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a new return And I'm gonna put Dimension D on it And I wanna do the thing that I do I don't know how to spell Dimension I'm a saxophone player there's only so much I can know. There you go. Poof. Hello, I like four for this. Where's the bass? The bass, the bass. Yeah, yeah that on the sides. Yeah. We get some width back, but not the Guess what's going on in your mind? Uh, I can only guess what possessed you to treat me so unkind. I'm gonna leave the rest of the vocals as they were because the rest of the vocals seemed okay. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. Uh, I can only guess what possessed you to treat me so unkind. Change the formulation to 250 and make it a little darker. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. The reason why I changed to 250 is because it's a more saturated and a little darker formulation than 456, which were tape. Remember tape? I can only guess what's going on in your mind. Uh, I can only guess what possessed you to treat me so unkind. So let's try and put some of the music back in. Uh, not that the singing is not music, that's not what I meant. Um, singing is everything in pop music. And this is pop music. I hope that Crab Costume thinks so, otherwise he's gonna be offended with what I just said. Oh, I love that. I think we're gonna use the vintage uh, verb also. Oh yeah. Maybe the ambience one. A little less bright, right? It's cool. And that's actually the intro of the song. Let's check it out. Let's see if it works. What a disaster, what a disaster. Just found out that Cupid's a liar. What a disaster, what a disaster. Just found out that Cupid's a liar. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. I can only guess what possessed you to treat me so unkind. I can only guess what made you turn so cold. Let's do a little pit stop on our mix bus. 
What a disaster, what a disaster Just found out that Cupid's a liar What a disaster, what a disaster Just found out that Cupid's a liar I can only guess what's going on in your mind I can only guess what possessed you To treat me so unkind that's what make you turn so cold I can only guess but what's the point What's the point This love is I can so, We have this guy I'm tempted to try Dimension D on him too I want to set up a um I'll show you the returns again. I want to set up a synth verb and the one that tends to work for me uh, with my gene pool is the EMT 250. It's nice and glossy. For uh, something that's just kind of like a, a tail but with a little bit of sheen and it sounds like this. Where is that pad? Hello. Organ. Okay, fine. See what I mean? I can only guess what possessed you to treat me so on that one too. Cool. Block, we're ready to care up. But could it use a little bit of that? No, too messy. No, that's just loudness. Okay, cool. You gotta re resist the urge of loudness. Um, what else do we have? There's something called high pad. High pad? Oh yeah, this was designed for this. Self-medicating so detrimental. Who you gonna call when suicide beckons? Whispering softly, offering redemption. Love that sound. That sounds like um, Art of Noise. Yeah. What's on here? Okay. That's cool. Then another EQ after that. UAD rolling to a one. That's that. Yeah, I hear that. And then a Pro MB, so there was probably a problem, but I like the way it sounds, so I'm not going to touch that. Oh, another one. Too bright? Oh, I see. Ah, let's A, B this. And then maybe be a little less. Yeah, but I think what it needs is um, uh, dimension, kind of like the outer noise records. Um, so, what am I going to do that with? Good question, thank you for asking. Uh, let's see. What did I do now? I'm done, thank you. Ah, where are my favorites? Gah. Ah, you know, sometimes, yes, I want this one. Thank you. Um, oh, yeah. So, our good friends at UA released this this week. I was involved in the release. You'll see it soon. Well, depending on when you watch this, you will see it in the past. And I had so much fun. The new Motown Chambers. Check this stuff out. So they went 
Italian model, the Motown champers. Insane. And the two of them, there's two of them, I didn't know that. There's, um, and there's two different houses. And there you can tell from the street number, 2648 and 2644. And then you have the usual control, like they did in, you know, in the other modeling plugins. You can choose the microphones, you can choose the distance, uh, you can choose which speakers. It's very thorough, it sounds bananas. See what I mean? This is without. So it's here. And then you put this. It's enormous. I'm going to actually back it up. Oh, I love the chords too. Uh, let's see this speaker. Uh, two medium E for me. Let's see the other chamber. Vibe. This is without. creates this back wall, right? Because of the space, now you feel like it's more behind. If I don't have the, the Hitsville reverb, it sounds like this. With the Hitsville. It's nice. All right, cool. Uh, these are all the synths. That's a really good arrangement, really good production because there's so very little stuff and it tells a really good story. Oh, there's the guitars. So let's do the guitars. I'm gonna bring this back on so that the guitars come on when they're supposed to. Actually, we could look at that. We could say, okay, show me the automation. And oh, it's this just muting reverb, I think. You can see here, it's just a mute of reverb. Let's see. this part do during the chorus. I think I'm gonna duplicate this because these are really two different intentions in my book. And on the second track, on the first track, I'm gonna get rid of that. On the second track, I'm gonna get rid of this so that it's now its own thing and give it a vibe. I think like a, uh, something like a slow moving phaser would be cool. Who makes a good one? Um, Arteria makes a good one. Well, they all make a good one. This one is kind of instant. Does one thing, does it well. Without. Cool. And then I'm thinking that the 201 uh, would be great. See the in the pocket. Cupid 
a liar What a disaster, what a disaster Just found out that Cupid's a liar What a disaster, what a disaster Just found out that Cupid's a liar What a disaster, what a disaster Just found out that Cupid's a liar I can only guess what's going on you to treat me so unkind I can only guess what made you turn so cold I can only guess but what's the point what's the point this love is done me head's fucked up big time I like the baby breathing I'm guilty of love without a happy ending Fingertips bleeding, <laughs> clawing the walls. All right, this is really vibing, right? Um, what's the ending like? Just so I know. I can only guess, but what's the point? What's the point? This love is done. Cool. Um, so let's do a, a quick pit stop by our uh, mix up ref to make sure we're not ruining. Martin in Crab's life. Can I call you Crab? Old mix. So it's a little more tame. It's not as in your face, but it's more precise and I can hear the vocal better. So I feel like we're in good shape. We'll see what Martin thinks. Um, so it just turns out that we figured out as we listened to the whole song that the vocal, although it was compressed on the way in, there's also different takes and they jump around. Done. Uh, this is what I wanted to sort of. Done. My head's fucked up big time. Yeah, that versus this. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. So I think that for that and for texture, we actually could do a little bit compressor rule. And um, for this kind of textures, I find that 1176 is dope for that, especially UA's 1176A because it's got a little bit of um, shine, saturation on top of everything. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. This is without. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. With. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. Cool. Let's see what it does for V3. Done. My head's fucked up big time. Alive but barely breathing. I'm guilty of love. I think that works. And I also think that uh, the good old Pultec legacy uh, would be cool here to give it a little more body. Done. My head's fucked up big time. Alive but barely breathing. And then so super, super high end. Done. My head's fucked up big time. That's a little aggressive. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to use Shaga uh, here and I'm going to use uh, this guy. Done. My head's fucked up big time. Yeah. Alive but barely. Without. Done. My head's fucked up big time. With. Done. My head's fucked up big time. In. Done. Okay. My head's fucked up big time. I like that. And a little bit of excite up, up, um, like in the forehead area. Done. My head's fucked up big time. Alive but barely breathing. Okay, cool. So the vocal a second ago sounded like this. Done. My head's fucked up big time. Alive but barely breathing. And now we're here. Done. My head's fucked up big time. Alive but barely breathing. Now the, 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 this 200 here is taking some space. I don't know if it's compatible because I'm doing it in solo to show you. In real life, I wouldn't be doing it in solo. I would do it, be, be doing it in the track. Done. My head's fucked up big time. I lie but barely breathing. I'm guilty.
what Space Martin had decided for the vocal. I don't want to take him in the direction he doesn't want to be in. Done. I'm going bloody crazy. What have I done? Enough weed and alcohol. Medicinal numb. Eh. All right, let's do something. Let's add a... It's cool. It's fine. It does the trick. But I don't know. Um, so let's do, um, let's do another chamber on vocals this time. And because I'm not dedicating it, I may use it for the other vocals. So I'm putting it on a aux return so I can play with it as opposed to putting it straight on the track. The reason why I put the vintage verb earlier on the other track is because it was dedicated to that sound. And I wanted, I really thought of it as part of the sound and, um, I mean, you could put it on an aux, whatever. This just makes less tracks. I don't want to have to keep track of so many tracks. So let's see. Um, yes, solo. And let's see what happens if this is going to be the right vibe for this. Uh, hi. Done. I'm going bloody crazy. What have I done? So yeah, it's going to work, but it's going to work as such. I'm going to go far away, make it a little darker. Done. I'm going bloody crazy. Done. I'm going bloody crazy. Without? Done. I'm going bloody crazy. So I'm pushing it back a little bit with? Done. I'm going bloody crazy. I should do more. I think I want to mute that. I'm going to mute this guy. Done. I'm going bloody crazy. What have I done? So I'm really pushing the vocal back. It sounds like this. Done. I'm going bloody crazy. What have I done? Enough weed and alcohol. But this is no Maybe the 250 would be the right, the right color for the main reverb. So I'm using the Hintzville chamber as a chamber, as a, as a space around him. And then I'm going to use the, the 250, I think, as the, the lead sauce. I can only guess what's going on in your mind uh, I can only guess what possessed you To treat me so unkind I, I can only guess what made you turn so cold That's pretty cool. Let's see how it sounds in the by itself. What a disaster, what a disaster Just found out that Cupid's a liar What a disaster, what a disaster Just found out that Cupid's a liar I could So you could use a little more of a compression thing So I'm going to take this up and this down What a Sorry What a disaster, what a disaster Just A little faster what a disaster, what a disaster Just found out that Cupid's a liar What a disaster, what a disaster Just found out that Cupid's a liar I can only guess what's going on in your mind The vocal's getting way too loud What a disaster, what a disaster Just found out that Cupid's a liar What a disaster, what a disaster just found out that Cupid's a liar I can only guess what's going on in your mind uh, I can only guess what possessed you To treat me so unkind I can only guess what made you turn so cold I can only guess but what's the point What's the point This love is I can only guess what's going on in your mind Let's stop. This is the original mix. What a disaster, what a disaster. Just found out that Cupid's a liar. What a disaster, what a disaster. Just found out that Cupid's a liar. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. I can only guess what possessed you to treat me so unkind. I can only guess what made you turn. So I can only guess, but what's the point? What's the point? This love is, I can only guess what's going on in your... I 
think I'm a little drum light for the vibe, so I'm gonna push my parallel. What a disaster, what a disaster. Just found out that Cupid's a liar. What a disaster, what a disaster. Just found out that Cupid's a liar. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. Uh, I can only guess what's what possessed you to treat me so unkind. Almost there, I think that sh the snare and there's a smidgen of sugar. Um, because I need the combo of the drive and a little bit of, whoa, and a little bit of shine. Let's go to the right spot. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. Now. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. with the old mix, make sure we are true to the producer's vision, but better. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. Uh, I can only guess what possessed you to treat me so unkind. I can only guess what made you turn so cold. I can only guess what... I think we're getting there. Um, I feel that I'm not doing justice to this stuff. This guy is going to be useful and not take too much room. It's automated. Oh, it comes on and off. It comes on and off, it's okay. I'm opening the top a little bit on the backs because it's very gentle and it's not gonna hurt. So you notice that when the guitars comes in, they may be a little jarring, but I sort of kind of dig it. I'm so highly strong. So the the vocal on the on the chorus is not loud enough, and I don't want to screw with it. Another technical term, then you know if I've used too many technical terms. So I'm just gonna jack it up here. This is the way you do it, I think, in Ableton. <laughs> Clearly, he had an issue, um, and there's another issue. I'm gonna put Pro DS on this. So I'm working on the source track for the chorus. So the source track that feeds into the, the group. So I'm just gonna DS a little more. Of a 
our good friend, Pultec Pro, or maybe you could use to have this muted. It's a little more too real with it. we call commentary. There's commentary. Um, let me erase that. the urge to send the, um, the snare into the EMT. It's an urge that happens to me on a regular basis. I think this, this hi-hat is a little too real for a Friday night. Um, let's get inspiration from the tools, shall we? Uh, let's see. Hmm. What would work? I want something wrong to happen. Something not really wrong, a little, little bit wrong. Like some, something different. Um, where's my inspiration at? Uh, let's see. Auto Biscuit is always awesome, but this is not what I'm looking for here. I'm looking for like some time effect or some... Um, screen something. I can hear you, I can hear you. Did you say phaser? That's what I meant. Hold on one second. Or flanger. Uh, which one do I know how to use? Oh, Paul's. I like Paul. Paul's awesome. Let's use Paul's. Paul Wolf, ladies and gentlemen, the man responsible for the 2500, that amazing compressor that I love deeply. Uh, let's go to a spot where that stuff plays. Dig that. Let's see if it's at all. Slower, probably. Or maybe not. Let's see in the context. Where was it? In the post, right? In here. Come on, girl. I'm going to speed the attack of the um, 2500 a little bit, speaking of Paul Wolf, and I'm going to slow the release down to create more of a clamp 
and so it's a little a little more restrained. Usually I do that, then I remove it, but I have to do it, otherwise I don't feel like I've done everything. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. I can only guess what possessed you to treat me so unkind. I can only guess what made you turn so cold. I can only guess, but what's the point? What's the point? commentary track I can only guess what's going on in your mind this harmony full harmony and then here oh, what have I done oh too much too much let's um let's give this comment oh, oh. let's give it a space let's give it a space uh, well first this space oh. Have I done? That's more spacious, and then a little 250. Oh, what have I done? Oh, too much. See what the plate sounds like. Oh, mm. what have I done? That's cool. What have I done? Enough weed and alcohol. Make this a no. I think that the vocal should change vibe on the chorus. Um, I don't have a double. Uh, the, the recording is what it is, um, but the vibe is great. So I just had the urge to do something which may be shut down by the artist or the producer or both, depending on how um, in sync they are. I'm gonna put a duct effect. You know what, I'm gonna do this with something else. I love Echo Boy, but I also love um, Collins plugin for this. EC300 is what it's called. Should have known that. Sorry, guys. It's hard to keep track of all the names of all the plugins, right? Uh, so get rid of Echo Boy, put the EC, and check it out. Hi. So I'm going to go just listening to that. And the reason why I chose this one is because um, it has lots of options. Also, it has a very fast and practical ducking system. Okay. So I'm going to duck. So I think I just uh, sort of kind of uh, went over what the, the my computer can do on uh, 128 samples. Yeah, that's a, I was sorry, guys. I was being a little bit uh, cavalier with uh, with my machine. Don't forget this machine is running. The DAW is driving the capture for you. Uh, and doing a bunch of other stuff at the same time. Let's see what happens now. Dreads in my temple, making me mental. No less. I'm actually gonna... Dreads in my temple, making me mental. Dreads in my temple, making me mental. So, basically, I get the tone, a lot of feedback. When he's singing, the delay gets compressed, and then when he stops singing, it comes as a tail. Drugs in my temple, making me mental. Yeah. Self-medicating, so detrimental. Who you gonna call when suicide beckon? Let's see what happens in the sauce. Drugs in my temple, making me mental. 
little less. That's a little bit over the top. Quarter note. That's cool. I like that. Uh, let's see if they keep it without. just on this vocal, so I'm going to do it from the track, not from the bus, um, some dimension D. Am I changing the tempo? My bad. I'm being a bad person. One second. Uh, there you go. Bad, bad. Go to your room. I am in my room. listen to the song for a second there that means that we're getting close to something that feels good to me and then we're gonna call Martin in and play him his baby I don't know if he's listening or not he's hanging out in the brand new lounge at flux right now um, so maybe he's listening so maybe there'll be no surprise just like usual or maybe he's not listening because uh, we have a bunch of rock stars in the building today so I don't know if he has the space to listen we don't know but um, actually, let me text him so he comes. I think I feel, I don't know, I got I to gotta, I gotta thank Shree, the last uh, verse and ending. but I'm going to keep it that way so make it a little more intense without a happy ending fingertips bleeding claw in the walls no face no spirit I'm down on all fours all demons greet me hello old man they changed the Let's 
Jesus Almighty. That's where it was too loud, so I'm trying to. This love is done. This love is done. I like that, uh, but I think that we get a better effect of it if we went like this. So I don't know. I don't have the energy to look where uh, track by track who is the problem. But I know that problem being who who is the tail, that unwanted tail. So I'm just gonna do them all. Um, in a uh, certain environments, it would be a mistake because then I couldn't adjust the level of the reverbs because now it's automated. But you know what? Done. Mm hmm. This love is done. There's still something a little fuzzy. Who else is there? Show me the returns. Oh, yeah. So this dude. Ah, da, da, da. Let's see. Get out of it. And again. With it. This love is done. Well, actually, that kind of works. Uh, but uh, let's see. Where is my music? That's not what I want. This is not what I want. I like this. There they are. Okay. This love is done. Cool. I can't seem to make myself go up. Another thing that I don't know about Ableton is just shrink them down then. Oh, that's the guy. Let's do this guy. Hi. And... This love is I believe his love is done. Here we go. Done. Cool. That's off already. Uh, I think that should do. Is there more? Oh, yeah, this guy. Here we go. Kush. What's the point? This love is done. Cool. There's a little tail, and that's just the. Um, Keys. So I'm going to do this. Done. I like. Okay, cool. So that's good enough for jazz. Uh, let me text Martin and see how long it takes to go from the second floor to um, the fourth row. Uh, what am I going to text? I got to text something meaningful. Oh, yeah. I'm going to text. Um, come on over. Comma. Come on over, baby. And I assume that an assistant is going to bring him in. In the meantime, let's listen. What a disaster, what a disaster, just found out that... I'm going to listen on headphones. What a disaster.
disaster, what a disaster. Just found out that Cupid's a liar. What a disaster, what a disaster. Just found out that Cupid's a liar. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. I can only guess what possessed you to treat me so unkind. I can only guess what made you turn so cold. Perfect timing. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Good, thank you. Nice to see you. You too. It's been a while. Grab a chair. Thank you. Wow. Have, <laughs> have you been watching? On and off, yeah. The connection's okay. a little bit spotty. So oh yeah. Some, like, little snippets. It's our brand new lounge. We haven't, I haven't had the time to install the, the Wi-Fi. I'm on, I'm on the, the only team member here with IT, any kind <laughs> of IT sensibility. I wouldn't say experience because I don't, but. Right. I'm willing to fight the machine until it works. I haven't had the time, but it will happen. Yeah. Um, all right, yeah. so I have a mix for you. Excellent, can't wait to hear it. Okay, great. So uh, tell me a little bit about the song. Who's, who's Crab Costume? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should, should clear that up, actually. So Crab Costume is actually a duo. So it's myself and a vocalist called Asher Dust, who okay. lives in Oxford in the UK. He's a great vocalist. Check out he his is. stuff, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> he does a lot of his own stuff as well. Um, so we kind of collaborated. We, we go back quite a long way. Okay. And, um, this was like a transatlantic email collaboration. Okay. I came up with a sketch of the song. He 
wrote his incredible lyrics and vocal melodies over the top, yeah. sent them back to me, I kind of filled in the rest. And, uh, this is cool. I, what makes that thing called chows? What's the synth <laughs> that makes that? Um, it's just a soft synth, I forget. Does it, if you look on the uh, audio file, you might see what it is. I think it might be massive. Or... It's massive. There it sounds go. like yeah. uh, Prano Mia by uh, Art of Noise. Yeah, I, I, I love it. I heard you mention that. I yeah. actually don't know that song. But, oh, it's yeah. dope. Um, I love all the sounds. I think it's really tasteful. Do you play the guitars? Yes. Yeah, uh, they're all great. Me, yeah, and uh, yeah. vocals are all Asher dust. It's beautiful. I, I love those guitar sounds. This is really massive attack, like yeah, in the spirit of. I see what you mean. That's yeah. kind of one of our influences. Okay. Sure. Yeah, it sounds beautiful. I love. I love that band. Um, so, uh, you ready? I am ready. All right. Nice. It's not gonna hurt. I promise. Okay. Not, not gonna hurt a lot. So maybe a little. So I just listen on headphones. By the way, I know. Is anybody asking what the headphones were? No. They are asleep. They are asleep. I bored you to, sp to smithereens. Well, for those who didn't ask, um, I'm currently testing those Odez, you're supposed to say Odezi, uh, MX MX4s, LCD Dash MX4s. They are awesome. You should listen to them before you go. Um, I like them very much. I, I think they're really accurate and really great. And while I was listening on the headphones, I found that the vocal was, obviously the, vo the vocal is the limiting factor here, right? Mm -hmm. Because it was recorded quite smashed. There's nothing you can do about that. Yeah, that's just how I received it. Yeah, so the, which is fine. Um, that's why, you know, it's, it, it's tough to record yourself. It's really hard. So mm -hmm. um, the idea was to like wrap it with other stuff so it still feels good. But when I was listening on headphones, everything came out just about the way I thought it would. Um, uh, except the vocal felt a little under and it felt like it needed a little more push. So let's see how it sounds now on speakers. Okay. What a disaster, what a disaster. Just found out that Cupid's a liar. What a disaster, what a disaster. Just found out that Cupid's a liar. I can only guess what's going on in your mind. What possessed you to treat me so unkind? I can only guess what made you turn so cold. I can only guess, but what's the point? What's the point? This love is done. I'm going bloody crazy. What have I done? Enough weed and alcohol. Medicinal nuts. Haunted by your silence, no explanation. All my question marks adding up. I'm so highly strong. Dreads in my temple, making me mental. Self medicating, so detrimental. Who you gonna call when suicide beckons? Whispering softly, offering redemption Face 
Um, that's just amazing, yeah. The, the bass is so solid, and the drums are like punchy. It, it sounds incredible. Great All job. Right. Yeah. I heard two things. Did you hear some things? Uh, just I only came up with one. But okay, you hit first. it. You first. It's the, your song. The second chorus. I yeah. think the high vocal should maybe feature a little bit more. You get um, it. Uh, so this chorus here. Yeah. yeah. He's called oh, chorus, chorus three here three for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? This guy. Better if it were on. It's one of those tracks that sounds better on. I'm a professional, people don't try this at home. You did good? Okay, great. I heard this. Um, two things. This love is done. I'm going bloody crazy. I think when he says, I'm going bloody, it needs a little bit of love so that you really understand what he's saying. Otherwise, it may be a little inintelligible. That's a word. Okay. Uh, so let's see. This love is done. I'm going bloody crazy. So let's uh, I'm still learning this process here. Come on, girl. Thought we were friends. Press shift, I think, to do it. Oh, you want to yeah. lift up the whole thing? J just that one thing. Oh, I see. This love is done. I'm going bloody crazy. Just sort of pick up. So I heard that, and then my little push on the vocal on V3 is a little overt by about it. 2.2, 7.9, so let's say 8.1. And let's get rid of this one thing. Yeah, that's fine. This love is done. My ex fucked up big time. I like the baby breathing. That's cool, but this first line is too loud. Come on. This can go too. My ex fucked up big time. Oh, big I like the baby breathing. Better. Good. And then it just dawned on me that you gave us a clap track. Oh yeah, I forgot about it. Um, and I did too, which is bad. My job is I don't to know not why forget so about quiet in your mix. Oh, in my mix. Sorry. I don't know why it's so quiet. Maybe it was an afterthought or something. And I don't know. I'm thinking. Let's see. So let's, it's at minus 28 right now. It's cool. I think on the choruses it'd be great. I feel compelled to copy it to chorus one. Do I have the producer's approval? You have my approval. Thank you. Boom. That may have just been an oversight. Uh, so let's see. See, you use, you use it to lift 
the chorus, the verse here, but not the second verse. Let's see how that works. What's the point? This love is done. I'm going bloody crazy. What have I done? No weed and alcohol. For the first verse, we don't have it. Yeah, and then it comes in the chorus. It's in quite a lot already, so yeah. yeah. Okay. Haunted by your silence. No explanation. All my question marks had enough. I'm so highly strong. Yeah, yeah it's it's just yeah. I just want to change of I would like a change of vibe there. Whispering softly, offering redemption. What happens on V2? What a disaster! What a disaster! Just found out that Cupid's a liar. What a disaster! What a disaster! Just found out that Cupid's a liar. What a disaster! What a disaster! Just found out. Cupid's a liar, what a disaster, what a disaster Just found out that Cupid's a liar I can only guess what's going on in your mind I can only guess what possessed you to treat me so unkind I can only guess what made you turn so cold I can only guess what was the point Love is done. Me ex fucked up big time. Oh, big I like the baby breathing. I'm guilty of love. Kind of okay. Envision the tambourine would be kind of a bit more featured. Aha, uh -huh. let's feature. Let's but, listen to it first so I yeah, know what it does. I kind of glazed on it. Yeah. What does it do? Okay, cool. Yeah, that sounds good. Awesome. I'm super impressed. Yeah. It okay. Amazing. Great. Well, I'm happy, I'm happy you dig it. I do. So I propose that I bounce this and put it on the mix up and mm -hmm. you listen to it and then everybody gets to listen to it. And then okay. if you have, well, I'll give you the session too. Great. And then um, it's your song. And then uh, so you can play with it. And if you have any recalls you need to do, you call me. Thank you you so have much. my number now. I do. <laughs> yes, it's great. Thanks so much, Fab. Well, thank you, Martin, for lending yourself to this exercise. It's not easy. Of course, no problem. Know? And then my give my, um, give my uh, regards to your uh, partner in crime for this one. Oh, yeah, I will do. Okay. Uh, Asher Dust. <laughs> Hi, Asher. And to everybody, thank you so much for watching. Um, we do this on average once a month. Uh, make sure you subscribe somewhere below here so that you know when we do this once a month if you're not a PureMix member. If you're a PureMix member, you'll know because we'll send you an email. And um, PureMix members will get the stems so they can play with the song um, and um, also get all those plugins um, because those are part of the PureMix suite. Um, decibel, mix up, sugar, spice rack, the brand new one. The 1178, the SP 2016, and then uh, I hope I'm not forgetting one. Um, and then there's more coming. And that's it. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm told. Do you want to answer uh, any questions? Ah, you have questions. I have answers. Hit me with the questions, Tom. Oh. When I start a mix, do I process tracks in order of importance or do I decide? It really depends on what I had for breakfast that morning, but um, I would say I would listen to the rough. I get the vibe for the song. If um, Usually I would start with the vocal 90% of the time.
and then I'll go to bass, so I understand the, the harmony of the record. And then, depending on what happens next, if, if the production is tight like this, I can do just about anything. So you saw my process. I did bass here because the bass was in the way. Um, uh, because it was a little too, it, it just took too much room. And that was yeah. part of your problem. Mm -hmm. it, it, those basses are hard. So Spice Rack crushed that. Um, and, um, and then I went from there. But usually to answer the question, I will start with vocals, then bass, then drums, and then all the rest, which is, you know, these days, decoration most of the time. Yes, Tom? Do, yes. Do I have a certain loudness target? Yeah. Uh, the, tar the loudness target, you mean in the absolute perfect world that we do not live in or in the world that we live in? In the, world that, in the perfect world that we do not live in, I guess uh, the song kind of dictates where it wants to be, but you know, I know where the medium is going to be, and the medium is going to be Spotify or Apple Music or Tidal or somewhere nefarious like that. And so, um, well, I, I know that it hovers around minus 14, you know, ish. Uh, so that would be perfect. The problem is that present company included, uh, most roughs that I'm sent are blown to smithereens. And there's a thing in the, the human brain that's broken or by design, I don't know, they ha must have had a useful purpose back in the savannah. Uh, people like louder stuff. And so if somebody sends you their rough, and there it's at minus eight, and you you deliver a mix that's at minus 14, they will never like your mix, even if their mix is garbage and yours is good, uh, because of the human uh, deficiency of the human brain. So if the mix is in the realm of 10, nine, eight, I have to match that. Otherwise, people will not like what I do. So over time, one develops the skill set of being able to mix loud and as good as possible. Um, if the mix is at minus six, minus five, the rough mix, I, I tend to want to have a conversation with the person and say, hey, you, you understand that um, what, the reason why you need somebody else to mix your records is because what you've done is um, making it sound bad. For it to be that loud, you can't. There's a sacrifice to be done, and I cannot make it better at that loudness. To which most of the time they say, oh, yeah, yeah, I fully understand, but they don't. And you turn in a mix at minus eight, and then have the time to say, but, um, but, but um, my, my mix was louder, like short-term memory loss and stuff. So that's the answer to that question. Next question. We had a question. We had a question. I have a question. Can I ask you? Yeah, um, you can. Ask, you're here. You came all the way here. You can ask as many questions as you want. Um, could you critique the production a bit? Because I'm just sort of improvising, really, with this whole thing. But anything that you think sort of I needs think, work? Or? I think you did great uh, because it was first we get a lot of songs, right? And I picked this one, so that means it, it stood out to me. It was quality, professional sounding, and it sounded good. But I identified that maybe I could help a little. Mm -hmm. um, so as far as production goes, I think that it's all about taste, and you have tremendous taste as far as keys and keyboards and everything. If you want to enhance this, I would dig into finding more personal drum sounds. Mm, stuff okay. that is like stuff that's 100% yours and that you spend as much time crafting as you spend time crafting the guitars. Mm, okay. And I think that you will get more modernity and more oomph out of that. Everything else is cool. And then, um, in the spirit of a collaborative environment, when you get a vocal like that, as the producer, you can say, hey, you s love the performance and everything, but could we have it less smashed? Right? right. So it's it's weird because you're like, okay, you're, gonna t you're not going to tell your buddy that he, he you know, he's doing something wrong. But if your end goal is, is the, the, the record's bananas, which I imagine is your end goal, then, okay. then there's, a, there's a slightly, I don't know, depending on the, 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 you know, character of your partner in crime, it may be a very benign conversation. Say, hey, can we do, what can we do to enhance your vocal setup? You know, can I just, can I zoom in while you do the vocals, then I can help you produce? And also maybe we could do like a real time stuff like, 
session wire or audio movies and I can listen to it and I'll tell you right away if it's going to be in the way of the mix or not. Mm -hmm. And see. so yeah. in the spirit of making a, a better record, you know, um, I think that this is great. The structure is great. Um, all, everything is super tasteful. Um, yeah, I, I really dug it. The only thing that felt less forward in the production is, is the drums. They felt a little more... Um, they were cool, they sounded great, but they didn't have as much personality, say, as the guitars or those mm -hmm. synths. Right? I really love those synths. Okay. Um, that's it. But otherwise, you did good. The session was clean. Um, you could have named your vocal groups. Um, <laughs> the session was clean. Everything was organized. The color coding is bananas. Nothing was blown out. Everything was at the right level. I was able to work. And I didn't know this until this morning when you sent the session this morning, right? So it could have mm -hmm. it could have been it could have gone any other way. But True. from the rough mix that I heard, I was like, okay, this is a song that I think I can help. And um, and actually, I didn't even know it was you until um, so Martin was at a uh, pure mix uh, masterclass. That's right. I've you been were to two actually. You've yeah. been to two, yeah. the, and I didn't. I didn't. Um, I know you as Martin. The Kessner part, I hadn't right. really reconnected. There's a lot of Martins in this world. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't connect until... Uh, and this morning, when I interacted with you, I was like, ah, something sounds familiar. And then when we walked in the door, I was like, that's Martin. <laughs> um, so, ah, so okay. yeah, I, I picked the, the music because I thought it was really interesting, good writing, great production, and it had the vibe which everything that matters is is the vibe and have the thing because these people have to listen to it for two hours right. uh, on loop. Might as well be good. Okay. So that's my feedback for your production. Thanks. Um, that's it. And thank you so very, very much for lending yourself to this exercise. Oh, thank you so much for doing all of this for us. So, yeah. All right. And thank you guys for watching if you're still watching. And I'll see you uh, next month, I think, ish. Et voilà.